Hey YouTube! Yeah, I'm gonna start off by apologizing about something. I'm not gonna be able to do the podcast this week because I've been slammed with something and I just need to have the weekend to recuperate from it. Some kind of head cold or rhinovirus or something. You can probably hear it in my voice. I'm kind of kind of croaky right now, but I did want to make this video right quick because I got something in that uh, kind of lifted up my spirits. I re I made a video recently. <coughs> <coughs> Yeah, I'm going to be in no condition to make the podcast. <laughs> but I made a video recently where I talked about the broken window fallacy. And I just did a little anecdote to say that for me, you know, losing that is not an unseen. You know, if someone threw a brick through my wall, through, through my window, I'd feel it and it wouldn't be an unseen with me. And I thought I made a pretty good point. And I wasn't doing this, uh, oh, poor me, take pity on me kind of thing. It was just, you know, an example of the kind of things that people feel when this happens in the real world. And the thing I was talking about was the Tascam DR60D. And this is an audio recorder that's designed to go on a DSLR and give it everything it's been missing in audio. And it's something that would greatly help me in my business. It's not really something that would help me making YouTube videos. But nonetheless, you guys really came through for me. You know, the donations came in and said, here, get the task cam, get the task cam. So thank you so much. There was one big donor in particular. I'm not going to out him. He can out himself if he wants to. But yeah, I got enough that I could get this. And uh, God, you guys are just so wonderful. I love this. Libertarians are so generous. And atheists are so generous, completely contrary to what our enemies say. You know, the religious people say, oh, those atheists don't care. And, you know, the status say, oh, libertarians, they don't care. They only care about themselves. Not true. Not true. I've been living proof of that for so, so, so many years. So even though this is not something that's directly going to help me make videos for YouTube, it is going to help me a lot in my professional life. And I'm so grateful that it's really motivating me to go and make some more videos for you guys. So I'm going to do the unboxing here in a minute. But what I wanted to do before then was kind of make this video sort of like a poll. You know, because I really want the feedback from you. What sort of videos do you want me to do? Do you want me to do more of the sciencey type videos? You want me to debunk more economic myths and witch myths? And you want me to make video about this or that or whatever? So let's make this video kind of a poll about that. Go into the comments. And tell me what you'd like me to make a video about. What subject, what myth do you want me to debunk, or whatever. And go through and plus one, or thumb up, or whatever it is, now that it's over on Google+. Plus. Go and do that to all of the comments that people posted that you agree with. You know, say, oh yes, I want to see him make a video on that. Hit the plus one. And that'll kind of be like voting. And so I'll just kind of get, get a feel for the room, really, and you'll give me some ideas on what to do. I actually have a video that should be coming up here soon once I get my proper voice back. Uh, another one about the minimum wage, which I really hope will close the book on it. I think by that point we'll have exhausted all of the crazy things that statists say about the minimum wage. But, yeah, maybe not. I mean, you never underestimate their power to come back with something even crazier. So let's do that, and while you're doing that, I'm going to unbox this thing. I've never done an unboxing video before, so this will be interesting. Uh, but I thought, since you helped me pay for this, you should see what it is that I'm getting. So here's the box, and I haven't peeked. I promise. This is me seeing it for the first time along with you. So, okay, we have the owner's manual, the destructions. And we have all the packing material. This is a, okay, it's just a standard uh, micro US, uh, mini USB cable. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry for all the coughing and hacking and everything. All right, here's the Tascan. This is the thing. It's all wrapped in plastic. You need, you know, the plastic. Okay, so here's the deal. This is the bottom, and there is where it screws onto the tripod. This is the part that faces me, the videographer. And these are all the controls and everything. And the top part here, the DSLR, clips onto that. And it looks like this can come off. I don't know why that would be. I'll have to look at the instructions. I'm not going to do any of that here in the video, but I thought I'd just show it to you. See how it works. 
Okay, not much going on on the front. I guess that's the battery compartment there. Yeah, ooh, look at that. Looks like four AA batteries. <coughs> so that's good. I think I'd rather do that than the rechargeable batteries. That way I can just go to the store, buy up a bunch of AA batteries, keep them in my camera bag, and then I don't have to worry about sticking batteries in the charger. If they run out, I just pull them out, put in more AA's. So... All right, we've got one left and two right. These are for balanced microphones, and you might have seen those XLR microphones. They've got the uh, the big connector with the three prongs. I wonder if I have one of those connectors around here somewhere. Hang on. I might have one here. Ah, oh, here we are. Okay, that is an XLR connector. And if you've ever done AV work, you know, pretty much anywhere where they have the microphone set up, if you've done something at a hotel and they give you <coughs> the AV equipment there to use, now you'll have seen this, you'll know about it. So this, this is what plugs into here, just like that. So that's a balanced microphone input. And it's also those uh, quarter-inch jacks, those really thick microphones. They used to put them on headphones all the time, the really thick jacks on headphones. Uh, it's like that, except for a balanced mic. And there's two of those. And you can record this in two ways. You can record it in stereo, this one's left and this one's right. Or you can just record it on two separate mono tracks, whichever way you want to go. So this is three and four. Okay. That is just a regular unbalanced microphone, which would either be a mono microphone with the same signal going on the left and right channel, or it could be a stereo. And again, you could record both of those on one stereo channel or split them off, record them in two stereo channels. Camera in, I guess, is like if for some strange reason you'd want to include the, um, <coughs> the on camera audio. Or maybe if you were hooking up the microphone directly to your camera. Instead of hooking it up directly here, you'd put it in camera in. Camera out, this is the, the great thing about it. Because the other Tascam I have, <coughs> it records separately, and I record it in there because unlike the uh, camera port on my DSLR, I can't monitor that, it doesn't show me the levels, I can't plug in headphones, and everything like this, so... This one, I can do all that. I can listen on the headphones. And then the camera out takes it to, um, <clears throat> to the camera so that it actually gets recorded in the camera in full quality, just like you know plugging in a microphone, except that I can uh, do all the levels here. It looks like there's a volume control here, but it looks like it's kind of linked with the camera out. I'll have to look in the destructions to see what that's all about. But um, I'm guessing that this is just so you don't blow out the levels in your camera. If you need to take it down a bit, you can reduce it uh, by so often. Uh, remote there for remote pause, things like that. Uh, here you can do the levels on one and two. That's those two. Three and four, that's the stereo mic in. And you can select whether... <coughs> You're using line, which means it's coming from an amplifier or mic, or mic plus phantom. A lot of those uh, microphones that use the uh, XLR connector require phantom power, and you can do that on both of those. All the normal player controls, things like that. Um, have to look and see what that does. That, I guess, is for like navigating menus. And things like that, and it might also be for adjust. Well, these are just the power levels, so I guess this is for navigating the menus. Hey, yeah, it clicks, so I guess you click and then come down to <coughs> to adjust the menus. Over here, uh, we have power on and off. You have hold, which is always good. All these things have a hold button, and that way, if you're recording something, you just hit hold and it stays recording, and that way you don't accidentally hit a button and stop recording something major. Headphones for monitoring it and the balance or line out. Uh, USB, I'm guessing that's the... i got to get this thing off here. They always make these things tough. 
but I'm guessing that's the mini USB out because the cord they gave me was mini USB. Yep, and there it is. And then there is the SD card. You just plug your SD card in there, get a nice big 32 gigabit SD card, and you can record all month or whatever. Just really incredibly, you know, even if you're, you know, recording uncompressed audio, you can just compress lots and lots and lots of it. So that's how it goes. That would be my view of it, and I'd work on it. And let me grab my DSLR. I don't think I've ever shown you guys this. This is the Sony Alpha 65. This is what I do my professional shooting with. Most of my YouTube videos, I use the one I'm using now. It's a Sony Handycam, which is great for most purposes. But there have been a couple I've used the DSLR for, but if you look at things like, um, well, the TV commercial that I made for Brian Irving, that was done using the DSLR, and you can really see. And I think the, um, what was that parody, the, the the Sound of Music parody, my favorite things that I did about Obama and Romney, I think that was all done with uh, with the DSLR. So really all I do here is I just put that on, get it lined up. So it's tight. And there we go, just like that. And of course, it would go with any tripod mount. I could do it whichever way I wanted to, or, you know, I've got other mounts that I can use. I've got a shoulder rig that I could probably put this on separately so it's not stacked one on top of another. But, I mean, this is good. I can go around shooting like that. I've actually got a handle I can put on. <coughs> Excuse me again. And that's where I mount my microphone, so. So this is it. This is the Tascam that I was wanting. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for this. You're all awesome. Please note that whatever you do to help bring in some money for the YouTube channel and the website and the podcast, please know that I'll give it all back to you some way. Again, this won't be directly back to you, but I'll do some, I'll do some extra videos. I'll take the time and actually go the extra mile and give you a couple extra videos that you want. So again, put in the comments what video you'd like to see and plus one, the ones that uh, that you'd really like. So I'll get this for you. Anytime you do that, anytime, no matter how much, if, you know, if you donate a dollar, you know, I really feel that. If you, you know, go to one of the affiliates, I do, and I get a little something that way, even if it's not much, it just motivates me to do more things for you and, and to make more video for you. So, thank you so, 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 so much. Uh, above all, just keep watching the videos, and I'll keep making them. Uh, also, spread them around. Tell your friends. Uh, I've never really understood the kind of people who say, Yeah, this is a great video. I don't understand why it didn't go viral. And you look, and they didn't share it. You know, that helps a lot. Even if you don't have money to donate, share videos. Share them on Google Plus and Facebook and Twitter and everywhere else. <clears throat> and just spread them around as much as you can. That helps as much as anything. Word of mouth is always the best way to drive in new people. So, so thank you so much. As my way of saying thank you, I'm going to try to step things up, do some more videos, especially since I'm not going to get the podcast out this weekend. Again, I'm sorry about that, but again, you, get <clears throat> you can hear it in my voice. But again, thank you so much. This is going to help me out so much, so I'm very happy to return the favor. Thank you all. Please stay strong and be free.